It's 45. I can see that. <laughs> On this day in 1986, Stand By Me was released. This timeless coming-of-age drama is filled with outstanding performances and is beloved by generations of cinephiles. Ever wonder what the boys of Castle Rock are up to today? Stick around and find out. Number 10. John Cusack Playing Gordy's deceased brother Danny in flashbacks, John Cusack had a comparatively minor role in Stand By Me. And it looks good on you too, just like that. But he's had one of the most successful careers of any cast member. After his breakout role in Say Anything, Cusack became one of Hollywood's major leading men for several decades, appearing in movies like Gross Point Blank and High Fidelity. When is this gonna stop? Recently, however, the actor has appeared in fewer major films, with many of his flicks going direct to video on demand. Cusack is now set to star in an upcoming Amazon web series, Utopia, so here's hoping a change to a smaller screen will be good for him. You saved my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Number 9. Francis Lee McCain while it was tempting to discuss the career of Marshall Bell, who played Mr. Lachance, we're electing to focus on what Frances Lee McCain has been up to instead. For those who don't know her by name, she played Denny and Gordy's mother. Are you gonna see Jane after the game? I think she's a lovely girl. After Stand By Me, McCain appeared in a number of films throughout the 90s, including Scream and Patch Adams, before going back to school to get her master's degree in psychology. The last few decades have primarily found McCain focusing on various theater projects. That being said, she has made a few smaller movie and TV appearances in the 2000s. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Number 8. Bradley Gregg in Stand By Me, Bradley Gregg played Chris's older brother Richard, better known as Eyeball, a member of Ace's gang. That's not fair, he's ours. Following the movie's release, Gregg appeared in a number of recurring TV roles, as well as film franchises like A Nightmare on Elm Street and Indiana Jones. Although most of his movie parts have been fairly minor for the last 20 years or so, Greg has tried his hand at producing and directing several smaller films. Greg has been married to his wife Dawn since 1987. The couple has five children. Their daughter Jemima and the process they went through to adopt her is actually documented in a film that the couple co-wrote together, Journey to Jemima. Number 7. Gary Riley this California native played another member of Ace's gang, Charlie. Fern, you little son of a whore. Although the actor appeared in small roles in a few films and television series after Stand By Me, including Fear and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Riley has effectively been retired from acting since 1996. Since then, Riley has claimed in an interview on the Adventure Club podcast, of which he is a frequent guest, that he has essentially been living on residual checks for the last several decades. Some child stars like to keep out of the limelight, after spending their early lives in it, and that's perfectly fine. Number 6. Casey Shimasco Billy, Vern's older brother, was yet another member of the gang, and was played by Casey Shimasco. Has had a fairly prolific career since Stand By Me. Nah, you guys win. I don't want to play no more. The actor played a similar role in 1985's Back to the Future, portraying 3D, one of Biff's lackeys. After Stand By Me, he returned to the role for the 1989 sequel, before going on to appear in the critically acclaimed 1992 film Of Mice and Men. His more recent notable roles include that of Harry Berman in the 2009 film Public Enemies, as well as guest spots on series like Billions. He may not be a household name, but Shimasko has certainly found steady work for the last 30-odd years. Number 5. Kiefer Sutherland Kiefer Sutherland made a convincing antagonist as the thuggish ace in Stand By Me, but the actor has taken on more heroic roles in years since. I won. Following early box office hits like Young Guns, Sutherland found his greatest success on the small screen, first in the role of Jack Bauer in the action thriller series 24, and most recently as Tom Kirkman on the political thriller slash drama Designated Survivor. The question is, how do we pay for it? Sutherland has also branched out to other pursuits besides acting, even beginning a music career. He's released several albums, one of which charted on Billboard's top country albums list. Sutherland is certainly a man of many talents. Number 4. Jerry O'Connell One of the more dramatic glow-ups in the young cast, the actor who played Vern turned out to be the very handsome Jerry O'Connell. <laughs> 
The actor is perhaps best known for his role on the TV crime drama Crossing Jordan, although he's had plenty of appearances across the big and small screen since Stand By Me, even providing the voice of Superman for several DC animated films. That's enough. In 2007, he married actress and model Rebecca Romaine, with whom he has two daughters. Currently, O'Connell is working on his own daytime talk show titled Jerry O. I'm, I'm not crying. Will you please hold me? No. Number 3. Corey Feldman As one of the most famous child stars in the world, Corey Feldman has had quite the colorful career as he grew into adulthood. Look, you guys can go around if you want to. I'm crossing here. After appearing as Teddy in Stand By Me, Feldman starred in movies like The Lost Boys, which co-starred Kiefer Sutherland, as well as frequent future collaborator Corey Haim. I don't like horror comics. You like this one, Mr. Phoenix. Well, it could save your life. Feldman's movie career has primarily been in lower-budget, Z-grade movies for the last decades, while his work on TV has primarily been in reality shows, although he has provided voice work for one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. <laughs> I got a nose for this stuff. I can smell it a mile away. The former child actor has also been vocal in trying to expose the abuse suffered by children in the industry, having been reportedly victimized himself in his youth. This is about creating a cycle of awareness. This is about opening people's eyes and minds. Number 2. River Phoenix Another famous child actor, River Phoenix rose to fame in the 80s, his role as Chris in Stand By Me being one of the first in a string of notable performances. I'm just trying to save your life, man. You want to kill yourself? He starred in such critical darlings as Running on Empty and My Own Private Idaho. Phoenix even landed roles in blockbusters like Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, playing the younger version of the title character. That cross is an important artifact. It belongs in a museum. Though best known as an actor, Phoenix had a burgeoning music career too. He founded the band Aleka's Attic, of which his sister Rain was also a member. Tragically, however, River Phoenix died of a drug overdose in 1993, cutting his promising life short. You like it. Number 1. Will Wheaton the young lead of Stand By Me, Gordy, an aspiring storyteller, was played by Will Wheaton. It's 45. I can see that. In the years since the film was released, Wheaton is perhaps best known for his role on Star Trek The Next Generation as Wesley Crusher. Do you want this to become violent? The actor has had many movie and TV parts, paying homage to his status in geek culture, including appearing as a fictional version of himself on The Big Bang Theory. Wheaton has frequently been involved in a number of web series involving tabletop games, has written a number of books, and is an advocate for mental health. We think Gordy would approve. I'm feeling really nervous right now. We've made virtually no progress toward actually solving this mystery. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.